Let's say you have some PDFs that you want to add to bookends. Maybe they were emailed to you, or you downloaded them from a website. The easiest way to do this is to drag and drop the PDF into the bookends list window. This will bring up the attachment window. The first option lets you choose where bookends will store the PDF. You can tell bookends to leave the file where it is by unchecking the box. Unless you're doing anything fancy, you can probably leave this alone. Second, you can give the PDF a new name, or let bookends generate one for you. If you're trying to attach the PDF to a reference you've already selected in the bookends list view, leave this last option unchecked. But because I'm trying to add a new reference, I'm going to leave it checked. This link here means the PDF you are adding has a DOI, or Digital Object Identifier. It's a unique identifier that will make it a lot easier for bookends to find all the relevant information about the PDF, like the title, author's names, and so on. Click Attach. Now the reference is in bookends, and you can see that it automatically filled out all the metadata fields. Let's try adding another one. This PDF doesn't have a DOI, so there's no link for you to click. When you click Attach, the autocomplete window comes up. If you enter some search terms, bookends will use one of several search engines, which you can choose in the lower right-hand corner to try to find the rest of the metadata. I'm going to try putting in the first author's last name, the year it was published, and a few words from the title. Aha! It found the reference. Then click Import. Now this reference has been added to bookends, complete with PDF and metadata. Let's say you have a lot of PDFs to attach. Easy! Just select them all and drag and drop them into bookends. Bookends offers you a choice. You can attach them all to a selected reference, or attach each to its own new reference. Let's do the latter. This brings up the familiar Attach window. Two of the references had DOIs, and bookends found the metadata with no problem. The final PDF didn't have a DOI, so we're going to use autocomplete again. Just go to Refs, Autocomplete Paper, and we go through the same process. Just give it some relevant info. Voila! Everything is perfect. There's one other easy way to add attachments to bookends. You can tell bookends to automatically import files from any folder of your choice. So, let's make a new folder on the desktop. I'm naming this one Watch Folder, but you can name it anything you want. Or you can use an existing folder. It doesn't have to be on the desktop either. Now we go to File, Import from Watch Folder, Configure, and choose the folder we just made. We can tell it to only import PDFs, and we can tell it to import everything to a special group. Now let's drag and drop some PDFs into that folder. If we wait a few seconds, they're gone. Go back to Bookends and click on All to refresh the list, and the references are there. If Bookends finds a DOI, it'll automatically complete the reference. If not, it'll create a blank reference with just the title of the attachment, which you can autocomplete as we did before.